Have you ever seen a propeller lying on its side, spinning like a paddle wheel instead of the classic airplane prop we expect? Here at Cyclotech, especially noise in an urban environment is always a sensitive subject. It sounds odd at first, almost like a trick someone made up, but this unusual device has shaped real machines for more than a century. They are in particular well suited for individual air mobility solutions. These sideways spinners, called cycloidal propellers or cyclorotors, can push a vehicle in any direction without turning the body. They let a ship slide sideways, rotate in place, or hold position in strong wind. Their story is full of bold experiments, forgotten ideas, modern breakthroughs, and new dreams that are finally becoming real today. Early inventions and bold experiments. Cycloidal propellers began as wild ideas in the early 1900s, when engineers were trying to rethink flight and marine movement. In 1909, a Russian inventor tried mounting a paddle wheel like rotor on a small aircraft prototype. It never lifted into the air, but it sparked worldwide curiosity. Inventors loved the idea of controlling thrust in every direction without changing the angle of the vehicle itself. By the 1920s, more attempts appeared. One small model even reached Boeing's wind tunnel, where the strange spinning rotor drew interest. At the same time, in Europe, boat designers explored a similar concept. They imagined a spinning drum with vertical blades that could turn and twist through each rotation. This would allow a vessel to point thrust anywhere without needing a rudder. These early experiments often failed, but they proved one thing. A rotor with many blades that constantly changed their angle could give unmatched control. It was something traditional propellers simply could not do. Although tools and materials were limited, the early pioneers planted the seeds of a new kind of propulsion. They believed this idea could change how aircraft maneuvered and how ships handled tight spaces. Their prototypes were rough, noisy, and often unstable. Yet engineers kept returning to the concept, convinced something powerful was hiding inside that spinning wheel of blades. Their imagination laid the groundwork for the first true breakthrough in the 1930s. The Marine Breakthrough in the 1930s The first real success story came from Germany in the early 1930s. A company called Voith built the first fully working marine cycloidal propeller, later known as the Voith Schneider propeller. To test it, they mounted the system under small boats running through Venice's narrow canals. The results shocked onlookers. The boats could move forward, reverse, slide sideways, and spin in tight circles without turning the hull. It felt like watching a boat with invisible hands pushing it around. This new level of agility soon captured global attention. The invention earned awards at major world fairs. Tugboats became the earliest major adopters because they needed precise control when pushing massive ships in crowded harbors. A tug fitted with cycloidal thrusters could change direction instantly. It could push from the side, pivot in place, or stop on command without drifting. Fireboats and passenger boats in Venice quickly followed. Dredges and mining vessels appreciated the ability to stay steady in rough water while working. Research ships used them when they needed accurate positioning for delicate tasks. Even today, the design remains widely used because nothing else matches its maneuverability. Offshore supply ships use it to stay still beside oil platforms. Icebreakers rely on it to push sideways through frozen passages. River ferries use it for smoother docking. In every case, the cycloidal propeller gives operators something rare. Full directional control from a single spinning disc, achieved through the rapid, precise rotation of its shifting blades. After decades of service, this invention remains one of the most distinctive and effective marine propulsion systems ever built. Modern evolution and advanced engineering. Cycloidal technology did not fade with time. Instead, it evolved. In 2023, ABB introduced a new design called the Dynafin Propulsor. Perfected by evolution, progress and technology, the ABB Dynafin. This system looks completely different at first glance. Instead of a spinning disc, it uses a series of vertical blades that move like a whale's tail. Each blade has its own electric motor and smart control chip. They adjust their angle many times per second, allowing the ship to push and steer at the same time without a rudder. 
ABB claims an impressive efficiency of up to 85%, giving ships better fuel savings and lower emissions. This new approach is possible thanks to modern materials and advanced digital tools. Engineers now use carbon fiber, composite layers, and titanium alloys to build blades that are both strong and light. They design complex shapes through 3D printing, creating patterns impossible to make years ago. Smart sensors track water flow and load changes in real time. Machine learning systems adjust each blade automatically, optimizing movement and stability with almost no human input. These updates give today's cycloidal thrusters smoother operation, faster response, and much higher efficiency. Testing techniques have also improved. Instead of relying only on physical prototypes, engineers blend digital simulations with real-world tests. They use computational fluid dynamics to study the flow patterns and finite element analysis to test strength. Then, they verify results in water channels and wind tunnels. This testing cycle leads to cleaner designs and more reliable systems. The technology is now precise, quiet, and durable. It has become a refined combination of physics and smart control that pushes marine engineering into a new era. Flying with cyclorotors. Although marine systems led the way, engineers always dreamed of cycloidal rotors taking to the sky. A cyclorotor for flight looks like a sideways wheel with vertical blades spinning around it. They are in particular well suited for individual air mobility solutions. Each blade twists its angle at the right moment, producing thrust in any direction. This gives aircraft abilities that helicopters cannot match. A cyclorotorcraft can hover while staying perfectly level. It can slide left or right without leaning. It can rotate in mid-air like a spinning camera drone while holding its position. These ideas date back to early tests in 1921, but the technology of the time was not ready. Motors were too weak, materials too heavy, and control systems too slow. Today, the story is different. Modern electronics, strong lightweight materials, and fast computers bring the concept to life. A company in Austria named Cyclotech is building a plane called Blackbird. It uses six cyclorotors, each able to tilt thrust instantly. The Blackbird can lift off like a helicopter, glide forward like a plane, and strafe sideways like a drone. The company even claims it can parallel park in the air. Researchers and hobbyists have also explored the concept with small drones. NASA has studied cyclorotors for future aerial missions that need agile movement. One bold idea from the 1990s suggested a massive cargo blimp using giant cycloidal rotors to lift heavy loads and land without runways. All these examples show how flexible full circle thrust control can be. Cycloidal rotors offer smooth, precise movement that could shape the future of urban air travel, emergency vehicles, and advanced aerial robots. Digital design and community innovation. As cycloidal technology gains attention, more people want to experiment with the design. Digital tools make that easier than ever. On Shape, a cloud-based CAD platform, lets users create complex 3D models directly in their browser. There is no need to install software. You can sketch the central hub, extrude the vertical blades, and animate the motion to see how thrust changes with each rotation. Multiple people can edit the same project in real time, making collaboration easy. This has opened the door for hobbyists, students, and engineers to explore new ideas. Many use 3D printers to create test models at home. Others share open source designs and improvements in online communities. Some experiment with carbon fiber blades, while others design lighter hubs or new blade paths. This global exchange of ideas moves the technology forward faster than ever. Advanced materials also help shape new designs. Engineers now test composite layers, titanium parts, and flexible lattice structures. These allow custom shapes that improve efficiency and stability. Combined with digital simulations, creators can experiment without expensive prototypes. These tools transform cycloidal propeller design into a collaborative effort where anyone can contribute. It is a blend of science, creativity, and digital craft. And it may be the reason we see even faster progress in the coming years. 
The Journey of the Cycloidal Propeller is a story of invention, failure, revival, and bold progress. Once dismissed as an odd machine, it now powers ships, inspires new aircraft, and sparks fresh engineering ideas. From early paddle wheel experiments to modern smart thrusters, the concept has survived because it offers precise movement that no other system can match. Today's tools, materials, and digital intelligence give it new life in oceans and skies. The next time you see a ship glide sideways or hear about a new flying craft, remember that this strange spinning idea is finally stepping into the future it always promised.